and a good Friday morning to you. Today we want to talk about the third of the theological virtues, love. Uh, if faith looks somewhat at the past and hope anticipates the future, then love is how we live our lives right now. Recently, I saw a short TED Talk video by a woman who has spent about 30 years studying forests in Canada. And she had some very interesting things to say about trees. You know, I always thought of a tree grows here, grows there. It's a tree is a tree, has roots, you know, but trees are basically independent of each other and other things. And trees just happen to be there, big plants, you know. I didn't do very well in botany, and apparently trees have a much more communal life than any of us ever knew. Uh, underground, there are all these networks of, of some kind of fungus or something through which trees can send nutrients to each other. So if insects attack a particular tree, that tree can send its extra nutrients that it's accumulated out through its roots and through this system to the other trees <clears throat> so that they can thrive even if the one being attacked were to die. And trees also know and recognize somehow the, the younger trees <clears throat> that have come from the seeds that they produce. And so they're, they're daughter trees, if you will, and they will take better care of those trees than they will just some other tree that happens to be there. So, you know, trees have this whole life that um, I never knew about, and, and I suspect plants have that, other kinds of plants have that same uh, sort of situation. It's a lot like love, you know? Tree, just, it sounds funny to say that the trees love each other, but the trees work together and help each other in the forest, and they have this relationship through this network of fungal things so that <clears throat> they can do that. And so I'm thinking about us, and we're not limited in our mobility, but we have the ability to take care of each other, nurture each other, and, and reach out to each other, even people we don't know. Uh, we have the, the ability, and I suspect, I, I would say, the duty to help other people, love other people. Um, so if we've got something and they have none, we give it to them, we share. If they have a crisis, we support them and we care. If they're having a great great, wonderful day, then we rejoice with them and we, we care that way. So in all these mutual bonds of love, we are united in this kind of network. And that's what the church is. That's what Jesus calls us to produce and produces in us as he gives us his gracious love, gracious, forgiving love. So never let that love go. And uh, as, as Jesus said, Love one another.